The coming Sunday is the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time in Year B. And the readings are of the Gospel are from Mark's Gospel and it's Jesus healing the blind Bartimaeus. For this presentation, the core concepts or the doctrine points are as follows. Jesus showed love, kindness and mercy in many ways. This led those he helped to grow in faith and to praise God. A person who is filled with Jesus' own love will draw others towards God because of Jesus' love shining through them. Now, the materials that you need for this are the gospel characters, a selection of. You would not normally just put in all the gospel characters, just um, a smattering, a number that you're happy with. And one of them is a blind man, and here he is. Now, he could be Bartimaeus, or he could be another blind man. Uh, because this passage speaks of the blind man, Bartimaeus, actually having a cloak that he puts aside, it's very easy to make something simple that will do the job for you. And I want to show that to you right now. Uh, it's really basically just using a Velcro, dots, and a little piece of felt. So once you put a, a, a felt around a figure, you can trim off as need be to make it sit nicely around, around the blind man in this case. So it's, it's pretty easy to, to do that. You have a setting which is attached to the back of the box of the gospel characters in this case. And this is a setting of a street. It could be a street uh, outside Jericho where there are people along the side there. And Bartimaeus is another one of them. So it simply sits here. And you have your gospel characters. And I usually like to add a few of the apostles, not all the 12, but just a few of them as well as Jesus. So that's something you need. Another thing that you need is, or it's good to have if you can, is this. So this is the magnet map. And there are a few other um, places identified here, Samaria, Galilee, Judea, and the Sea of Galilee. As you know, there are lots of others um, that can be used. But this one, I've just put aside Jericho and Jerusalem so that you can actually identify where those are, Jerusalem and Jericho, on the map and have a visual there for the children. So that's something that will be used. Also, if you have available some images of the scene, of the story, that would be nice. I don't have any today, but if you manage to download some from the internet and have them there as background, that can be helpful too. No real need to draw attention to them particularly. So here we have the presentation. So the focus, you want the children's attention to be going to the figurines rather than to yourself. It's a fairly short presentation, it won't take long at all. And it begins like this. There are many things we can learn from this passage about the way God wants us to pray and to be. There are a lot of stories in the Gospels showing Jesus cared for many people, especially those who were suffering. And this is one of those stories. And it's a, an event that took place just outside Jericho. So where is Jericho? Let's have a look at our map. And here we have um, the, the map of Israel at the time of Jesus. And we have here um, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is here. And we have Jericho, close to the River Jordan, here. So here we go. We're going to light a candle now before we read from the Gospel. There you go. Jesus 
came to Jericho. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was there, he began to cry out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him. telling him to be silent. But he cried all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped. And said, call him. So they called the blind man saying to him, Take heart, rise, he is calling you. So, throwing off his mantle, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. We're going to put out the candle now. I wonder, I wonder why everybody was telling Bartimaeus to be quiet. It'll be interesting to see what the children say to that. It's a simple question, but they can have a few different answers or thoughts. And I wonder, and this is important, why Bartimaeus persisted in calling out. The point that you're trying to get to with the children is to start getting some understandings about perseverance in prayer. That's one of the things that they can uh, understand from listening to this story and they begin to understand that every miracle that Jesus performed and every parable that he retold has a purpose or many purposes. It's a part of his divine plan. So in this case, Bartimaeus gives us a very good example of what it is to persevere and to call and to plead no matter what anybody else is saying. Maybe they'll say, the children will say, 
he persisted because he knew Jesus could do something great for him. He was determined not to lose this opportunity. He, he was not going to take no for an answer just because others told him there's no point in praying for that or calling out to Jesus for that. Another I wonder question. I wonder what Jesus meant when he said, your faith has made you well. Your faith has made you well. And then lastly, and you often try and finish with a question like this, I wonder how this event can show what Jesus wants of us when we're facing difficulties. So those are the few I wonder questions I have there. You can think about if there's time to incorporate a little song to help with the thinking about this. And for example, there's a beautiful one, which you will know, I'm sure, open my eyes, Lord. And you can find a version of that that suits your tastes and, and the tastes of the children. Open my eyes, Lord. And they will remember that and link it forever with blind Bartimaeus once you presented it. And then lastly, there are the opportunities for pondering. If it's Sunday school, you might have time for that. If it's, if it's children's liturgy, you may need to take, give them something to take away, uh, an image, uh, crossword puzzle, whatever it is that you've been able to access. Uh, and if there is a little bit of time though, they can actually work with these figures and actually retell the story in their own words, which is a good thing to do. There could be a simple craft activity of which there are, there are many out there on the internet. They can read an account in the, in the Bible. They can spend a bit of time in the prayer space composing their own prayer to Jesus relating to their needs. They can locate the place of the events on the map that we have here. And while they're doing that, they might want to introduce other magnets that they're aware of where certain events took place. So there's a variety. You know, in the choosing and the, the choice times, it, it's, it's fine if they're not always totally focused on what you have actually done and presented to them. They can tangent off, if, if I could put it that way, into other areas that, that their mind is being drawn to, the things that they have learned in other moments. So that's the presentation for the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year B. Yeah.